All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your 27th UDK tutorial, and this is one of the last tutorials I'm going to be going over when it comes to materials. It's this one, and then I got one more, so 27, 28, and then I'm going to be going to Food Line, grabbing some oatmeal cream pies, and watching some Netflix movies. So we only got two more tutorials on materials to go, and then we can move on to the next topic. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about emissive materials. Now we can go ahead and look at the emissive property right here and the emissive property or attribute of a material is pretty much the glow so we can have like a spaceship with lights on it and we can make those lights emissive aka glow pretty cool huh so I already know what material I want to work with so go ahead and select textures right here and we're gonna be grabbing two textures now go ahead and search wall light and I found this one and this one right here and by the way I want to give you guys this little tip. Whenever you're looking through textures, you can kind of see what they're used for by the last letter. For example, this last letter is D. This means it should be plugged into the diffuse property. This one is N. This one should be plugged into the normal map. This one is EM. That means emissive map. So we're going to be grabbing that one for the emissive map. But anyways, since this is D, that's the one we want for diffuse. So go ahead and we're going to be making a diffuse and an emissive texture. So now let me give you guys another shortcut. In order to add textures really quick, just go ahead and hold T on your keyboard and click. So I'm going to click with T right there and it's going to add my texture. And I'm going to click with T right here and it's going to add my texture. Now this one is already set up since we had this selected in the content browser. So go ahead and hook this up to diffuse. However, this one is the wrong one. I just wanted to add that real quick. So we actually want to associate this texture with this emissive map right here. So make sure you have this emissive map selected and go ahead and hit this green arrow which means use the selected object in the content browser and whenever you hit that it switches over to your emissive map since this was the texture that was selected. So now go ahead and expand that because I'm done with the content browser and also expand your preview window just because I think it'll look better. And now look what happens whenever I plug this emissive map into this emissive property. Keep your eye on the preview window. Whenever I plug it in, those lights kind of light up. And that's basically what an emissive map is. An emissive map is basically a black and white map. And the white parts tell the UDK what parts of your material needs to glow. So wherever this emissive map is white, that's the part that glows. Wherever it's black, that's the part that stays dark. Pretty cool, huh? So now you're saying, all right, that's pretty cool, but what if I want to kind of change my lights a little bit? Say, for example, I want to make them a new color or I want to make them brighter or dimmer. Well, in order to do that, the easiest way is probably to add a materials expression. So go ahead and we're going to go ahead and delete this connection right here. And actually, I'm going to drag this back. So what we need to do is we need to add a multiply expression what the heck was that noise Did I just get an email or did you guys hear that anyways go ahead and hold M on your keyboard and left click and this is a shortcut to add a multiply so go ahead and let me see how I want to set things up I actually want to control this down here and there we go so what we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna be hooking up this multiply to the emissive and now this multiply needs two values in which to multiply just go ahead and plug in this one for B and you remember before when we used that constant 3 vector I'll go ahead and show you if you right click constants constant 3 vector this is a vector with the R G and B value so go ahead and grab all of those and plug them into A and basically this red is going to be multiplied by this red this green is going to be multiplied by this green and this blue is going to be multiplied by this blue but if we see right now since all these values are zero this red green and blue is going to multiply by zero and remember anytime you have a number and you multiply by zero the outcome is zero so right now we're getting these three RGB values we're multiplying them by zero 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 and our outcome is zero 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 so this basically has no emissive properties right now and we can verify that by taking away this connection you see when we take it away and add it take it away and add it our material doesn't change glow so what we need to do is we need to change the glow properties and we do that by changing the mult or excuse me the constant three vector properties 
So let's go ahead and boost one of these colors. By the way, by default, if you want to get your old glow back, just type 1, 1, 1, and there's your old glow back. So say we want to add a little more, uh, let me think of a cool number. Let me go ahead and boost my green by like 800, and then go ahead and focus away from that, and now you can see we get a nice, powerful green glow. And this green glow needs a little bit of blue, so I'm going to go ahead and boost that by 200, and check it out. I get this nice looking green and blue glow. Pretty cool, huh? So here's what's happening. It's taking the red value and multiplying it by this red value, so we get the same, since any number times 1 is itself. It's taking the green and boosting it by 800, and taking the blue and boosting that by 200. So now, since we boosted the green and blue, we get a nice green and blue effect. And we've done all that by taking pretty much two lists of color, multiplying them together, and getting the final list of color which we plugged into the emissive property. So that's basically how we work with the emissive property to control the glow of our material. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to sign up for my forum, and I'll answer them for you then. So thank you guys one last time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.